Practice set 36, number one. Walnuts cost $4 per pound and peanuts cost $3 per pound. How much of each should be used to produce a mixture of $3.50 per pound? This is a mixture problem involving weight and we're going to use the formula amount times the price per pound, and I'm going to abbreviate that, is equal to the cost. I'm using a table to help identify the information here. So in this first column, I'm going to put the amount of each of these different types of nuts, the price per pound, and then the resulting cost when we multiply them. So filling in, we've got walnuts, we have peanuts, and we're producing a mixture. And I'm going to start with the mixture. It says to produce a mixture that costs $3.50 per pound. So I'll put my $3.50 per pound here. And let's say we're going for a pound just to start with and keep it simple. Going back at the top then, walnuts cost $4 per pound. I'll enter that in under, under the price per pound. And I don't know how many walnuts. That's the whole question in this problem, how much of each. So I'm going to let that equal x. Coming to the peanuts, they cost $3 per pound. And to determine the amount of peanuts, I'm going to use the fact that we have the total mixture is one pound. Since walnuts and peanuts combined to give us that total amount, I'm going to take the total one pound and subtract the walnut amount should represent the amount of peanuts that are in this mix. Filling out the third column, I'm going to use the formula amount times the price per pound gives us cost, resulting in $4 times x, $3 times the amount of peanuts, which is the quantity 1 minus x, and then our mixture, which is $3.50 times 1, or simply $3.50. For an equation then, we're going to take the walnut cost plus the peanut cost and set it equal to the mixture cost. Substituting in then the values that we found, and I'm going to drop the cents on the walnut, $4.00. I'm going to leave it as a 4x. Same with the $3 instead of indicating 0 cents. I'm going to write it as a 3. Is equal to the mix $3.50. Simplifying the equation that we have, first thing, of course, is to get rid of the parentheses, which involves 3 times each one of those quantities. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times that x with a minus is going to give us a minus 3x. Simplifying next, combining any like terms, I have a 4x minus 3x, which simplifies to a 1x, or just simply x, and I still have the plus 3 is equal to $3.50. The only thing needed to do to get the variable by itself is to subtract a 3 from both sides. x is equal to a 0.5, which I can translate that into 1 half. What was x? X was the amount of walnuts, so we have a half of pound of walnuts in this mix. And peanuts, 1 minus X, in other words, 1 minus 1 half, is going to also give us a 1 half for the amount of peanuts as well.